My name's Ryan Morehouse. Uh, my rank is SAC. Um, I joined the RAF Regiment in 2003. I was at RAF Regiment Gunner, which my job was to defend air bases in and out of the country from surface to air missile and to go outside the air base and go into local villages and just get into no locals and just make sure nobody's trying to fire the aircraft as they're coming into land or going or flying off from the air bases. My first tour of duty was in Iraq in 2004 to 2005. That was my first tour, last for six months. Um, my other tour of duty was in Afghanistan in 2007, March. Uh, that also was for six months. Um, during that tour, I, um, I got injured in Afghanistan. Um, I got blown up by an IED. Um, my vehicle was trying to pull out another vehicle. Um, we succeeded with that. That vehicle manoeuvred off and then my vehicle was turning round when our vehicle went over a pressure plate of some kind, which ignited the IED. Um, two of us survived me and my driver, the other two, which was a close colleague of mine and a good friend and an Afghanistan interpreter, which also lost his life. The injuries I sustained from that was a C6, C7 displacement, uh, multiple facial fractures, two subdural hematomas, multiple cranial fractures and a pneumothorax and a collapsed eye socket. So quite lucky to be here today to speak about it and with my arms and legs. During the service in the RAF, I never really knew what the RAF Benevolent Fund was, but when they told me that, yes, they'll pay off my loans, and yes, they'll give me a profile in bed, yes, they'll sort me out three months of my mortgage getting paid, I was over the moon. I thought that no way couldn't somebody help me out that much in paying something like that off. So, yeah, I'm really, really, really glad they've helped me. The lads and the, the, the men and the women are going out to other countries to serve their country. I mean, just by putting into the Benevolent Fund just a little bit helps us out a lot and that would be a great deal. So you'll be doing something for your country just by putting the money into the RAF Benevolent Fund.